everyone welcome to the third video of today and I am going to create um, a layout which as you have probably noticed by now when there is a double page spread I always try to go with something similar to what's on the first page uh, color wise and also flower wise um, but not obviously identical I don't want to create the same thing so I'm just um, taking inspiration from that flower that you can see uh, and trying to rotate the perspective and change it up a little bit which can be um, quite challenging at times it's a lot easier to look at a flower straight on um, and then you know see it kind of flat in a way but as soon as you try to create dimension it becomes a bit more tricky so that's what i will be doing here now i want to touch on a subject today that i was contemplating for a while and i wasn't sure how much i wanted to share and whether i um, should do it or not the thing is i haven't um talked about COVID ever since the whole thing started and I tried to avoid it because when it first started it gave me a lot of anxiety because I was very sick at that point and it was unclear what it was. Um, I had very similar symptoms so the last thing I wanted to do was to talk about it. Okay, from this point, I think those of you who really don't want to hear about COVID, and I totally understand, you can mute the video and continue enjoying the illustration. I, um, I'm attempting now to voice over this part the third time because I feel like the other times maybe were a little bit um, intense, so I don't want it to be like that. And um, what I want to achieve with this is for us to share if if other people have gone through this um or similar things um you know just to share the experience that's all i don't want this to become uh you know a heated conversation and all of that at all because i want the opposite i want a relaxed place and space here so um yeah uh, basically uh, as you if you have been watching my channel for a while you probably remember that I had taken some time off a couple of weeks um, because I was um, unwell and uh, I think I mentioned that I, I was um, coughing or something like that. I don't remember but the point was um, in February so it started in January I kind of was getting colds and all of that and then in February I got really really badly uh, sick with a um, terrible cough um, and I was so unwell that I had to be in bed rest uh, you know there were days I couldn't get out of bed uh, it was a struggle to walk down the stairs so it was quite severe um, now um, that so along with the cough uh, extreme sort of chest pains and all of that really unpleasant stuff um, which was quite scary to experience um, also I had stomach um, pains and um, lack of appetite uh, lost loads of weight and things like that so those those were sort of the main factors at that point February and March then uh, the cough gradually has um, stopped which at that point as well probably took about two months if not more um, and then I was left with stomach uh, problems and um, yeah so without going into detail I um, really tr was, was trying to get my stomach better and again that also took another couple of months so the whole thing probably took about four months. Now fast forward um, the cough thank goodness um, has stopped uh, although I have this a slightly obscure sensation in my chest which kind of makes me feel like I want to make a cough but it's not really a cough so that has remained with me until this day and it's like end of July now um, and then there is a bunch of other symptoms which are still reoccurring and it was a complete phenomenon to me I was really scared because I've seen now a number of specialists and uh, doctors and um, none of them have mentioned COVID and when I would ask them could it be possibly COVID none of them had any vague idea that it could be COVID so they they would say 
it's possible but you know we wouldn't know so um, obviously yeah I, I, I was desperate to get antibodies test done which was not possible uh, until this moment I was told that I could get it done in the next couple of weeks so hopefully uh, that will help me to understand but again uh, I was told that it is um, not 100% so you know who knows <laughs> what this test will do but um, yeah basically uh, the idea here or the, the point here is that um, I have a few weeks where I feel fine and I start you know pushing myself and this is when I was filming the online course and I start throwing myself into work because I am sick of being sick you know I'm someone who is normally energetic no matter whether I'm tired or not I always push myself I always am active and you know do things around the house in the garden looking after my son who's four so he's a very active boy just you know constantly doing something I love cooking and it's like th there is never any resting for me and suddenly when I became so poorly it was so unnatural it was really frustrating for me because I just was left so fatigued that I couldn't get out of bed walk down the stairs couldn't do simple things prepare a meal none of that you know all of these things like standing up having a shower felt like a whole deal and it was in a way embarrassing because all these doctors you know we did blood tests we did t CT scans and ultrasounds none of them could find anything so but you are feeling unwell you know for about a week every few weeks and I couldn't understand what it was but then I started seeing a pattern of exactly that when you start feeling better you think oh I think thank goodness I'm over this thing and I can now go back to my normal life and then you know start doing say gardening for a few hours thinking that's a good way to exercise because it's your exercise obviously we can't go to the gyms we can't go swimming so you know walking or doing gardening for me I enjoy gardening so I think okay I'll do the gardening get the fresh air a bit of physical exercise and then a few days later I would start to feel the drop coming in and it's for me personally I wonder if anyone out of uh, you um, feel the same where you feel it's sort of slowly creeping in it's kind of slowly coming in for a couple of days you start to feel maybe a bit foggy in your head a little bit tired but you're still sort of functioning and then you get those three four days where you are unable to function everything becomes a struggle like the simplest of a daily task becomes a big big struggle so and then the same thing coming out of it again it starts to lift off um, and then start to feel better so I have already mentioned the foggy head um, unable to concentrate extreme fatigue and with it I also get this pretty bad muscle pain where it's it's very much like when you have a bad case of flu but without the flu so walking and you know moving around everything feels very very difficult um, and so this is what I have now experienced for the last probably three or four months because before that um, I had all the other stuff wrong and so I was dealing with that but the uh, stomach and the um, and the cough has um, has been sort of stopped and then this is what I'm left with and those people sharing it on the news I'm not sure if I have mentioned it um, because I'm doing it third time so I don't know if I mentioned it this time so on the news um, people came out to say that there is such thing as COVID long haulers and they are experiencing the the same um, basically the same uh, symptoms and for the first time I felt again sorry if I'm repeating myself for the first time um, I felt like my questions were answered because having spoken to so many like a good handful of doctors and specialists and asking them direct questions and getting pretty much very vague or no answers uh, has been a very frustrating process um, because you don't know how to help yourself there is no advice of what to do and 
if you then, you know, are prescribed tablets for this or tablets for that, it's not really helping anything. It might just create new side effects or new um, triggered other things. And it's just basically what I realized for myself is the overdoing of things. It could be, um, you know, working too much. It could be mental strain, like concentrating or pushing yourself too hard work-wise, or it could be physical as well. And so I really need to watch it because it hits me and then I'm out for a good few days. And, you know, that's what it is for me at the moment. And it's kind of, it's sort of, I'd say, a little bit unpredictive, um, but, or an unpredictable, but I think I, I kind of know now um, almost when I should stop. And when I don't stop and push myself, um, there's another, you know, drop of that energy that comes with it so um yeah and, and those people that were sharing their stories they were ex describing exactly the same thing in fact that um one woman was saying about the shower that she felt it was hard to take a shower and it was hard for her to cook uh daily meals for her family because um she would love in in her normal you know health she really enjoyed cooking and that was like her joy of the day where now she has to really plan ahead and maybe cook one day for a couple of days and rest the day after which totally I can um, connect to and resonate and it just feels exactly like what I'm going through so I thought that maybe if those of you who um, are experiencing a similar thing you're more than welcome to come forward and share this with us and again you know, keeping it positive and, you know, well, from what I read, I did a bit of uh, reading, is that all of these things should stop eventually. It's just some of us, apparently one third who have had COVID um, experience this long lasting symptoms, which eventually will fade out completely and permanently, hopefully. It says um, that there is no science that th these would be permanent um, symptoms, but um, it just takes a longer time for us to recover and apparently that there is um, a another virus that has been linked to COVID that if you had this virus in the past it could be um, making COVID worse and giving you those long-lasting effects. But anyways all of these are theories and things that you know who knows what's right what's wrong but I'm someone who loves to read up on things and inform myself because I haven't had any answers from the doctors and specialists that I've seen, unfortunately. And so I am left to, um, you know, my own research. And hopefully you guys can come forward and create this sense of community of us sharing it and staying positive and getting through this because we can do it. Some days are pretty challenging and difficult. Others are great and that's, you know, when, when I thank God for giving me a, a beautiful day where I feel healthy and energetic and on a difficult day we just need to get through it. Thanks for watching and see you tomorrow.